after legal decision in a courtroom in Lower Manhattan this morning in the hush money trial of former President Donald Trump. The judge in the case not only denied Trump's motion to dismiss the case, but also set the date for the start of the criminal trial. Jury selection is now set to begin on March 25th. Trump's attorneys are claiming that this trial amounts to election interference. I'm News News reporter NJ Burkett is live in Lower Manhattan with the very latest on all of the proceedings this morning. NJ. And no, Liz, they're not happy about this. Donald Trump left the courtroom minutes ago, vowing to reporters that he will attend every day of this trial. His first criminal trial set to begin, as you said, in late March, expected to last about six weeks. So, yes, this trial will go forward over the strenuous objections of the defense. The former president left Trump Tower defiant as ever. He mouthed the words thank you amid cheers and taunts. His motorcade rolled six miles downtown, where he arrived at Manhattan Criminal Court under heavy security. Everything that I've heard and read, even from legal scholars, said there is absolutely no case here. It's not a crime. When the judge denied a defense motion to dismiss the case, attorneys pleaded with the court to postpone the trial, claiming that a March date would be a great injustice with the campaign ramping up and looming court appearances elsewhere. Nobody really knows at this point when the D.C. trial will begin, said the judge. You don't have a trial date in Georgia. You don't have a trial date in Florida. I appreciate what you're saying about your client's constitutional rights, he said. I don't want to violate his constitutional rights, nor does anyone else. Donald Trump was indicted last year. At the heart of the case, a $130,000 payment made to porn actress Stormy Daniels, who claimed she had an affair with Trump in 2006. Although the former president denied the allegations, prosecutors say he ordered his personal attorney, Michael Cohen, to buy her silence in the closing weeks of the 2016 campaign. Cohen is expected to be the star witness in the case and claims he's provided prosecutors with extensive documentation. Trump is accused of covering up the payment, listing it as a legal expense so it would not damage his campaign. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg speaking last April. Everyone stands equal before the law. No amount of money and no amount of power changes that enduring American principle. So the stakes are high for Mr. Trump. Falsifying business records in the first degree is a felony here in the state of New York, punishable by up to four years in state prison. Again, jury selection set now for March 25th.